Yo guys, welcome to Cooking with Michael. Massive Michael's here. Today I'm going to show you how to make lemon posset because people have been requesting that. First off, we're going to have to go through the ingredients. Two large lemons. 150 grams of sugar is in here. And 600 milliliter pot of double cream. So the first step to making this, it's very, very simple just to tell you. So you first put the double cream in this pot here. Uh, yep, just pour it in. So then once you put that in, then put the sugar in. And then you turn it onto a low heat, very, very low heat. So as you see, it's for this one here. Oh, wait, not that one, sorry. That one, that one, there we go. Turn it to a very, very low heat. Sort of so, the fire under there is pretty low. So then, put on a low heat for three minutes. So then we have to, You have to try and dissolve the sugar so while I'm while I'm at it. Get a lemon juicer out and then cut these lemons. I'm just going to cut them on the table because why the fuck not? Uh, get a knife. That will have to do. All right, and second arm. So. Cut them in half. So, so now we have to have to sort of juice them as hard as you can. Get all the seeds out. This is basically a time rush. To race against time now. I'm also trying to dissolve the sugar as much as I can. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Alright, that's one lemon done. Second one. Or second half of a lemon, sorry. Now they do say you can zest it, put on top at the end, and I'm just like, fuck that, I ain't doing it. Because, you know, I think it tastes good enough without it. Uh, a bit more, I can get out there. Alright, that's all gone. You know what, I'm just going to juice the next, this next one off camera just to cut, just to save a bit of time. So yeah, I'll see you once I'm done with that. Right then, so all four are done. As you see, they're all juiced. So now, I'll probably take this off. You have to get these ramekins over here. Let's put the posset in when it's done. I'll put the top it over here. That's a fair amount of juice and two lemons. As you see that, oh, maybe you can't. There we go. So I'll put the phone back here. And now pour this in. That took about two minutes, I'd say. So now you keep stirring until this is dissolved. Oh shit, the sugar's formed at the top. I'll probably turn up the heat a tad bit. There we go. Show you a bit. As you see, it's not it has to be sort of yellow, it has to sort of get rid of this white foam at the top, which is actually the sugar condensing. A little bit of a disaster, but I think we can fix this. So uh, yeah, I can see more yellow just now. Put a bit of a higher heat or just dissolve it a bit faster. 
Oh, I should just do it till it's smooth. It feels much smoother. But equally, it's not quite the colour you're normally after. I think that's probably good colour. That's not. Oh, fuck. I hit my head on that thing. So I'll probably go in about another minute or so just to sort of fully dissolve it. It looks a lot like custard. Might have to get another two ramekins just to put this all in. Alright, so while I'm let, I'll turn the heat down a bit. And now get a measuring jug if I can find one. There is one. Let's just get a measuring jug like that. So once it's boiling, we have to uh, put it on. Now don't put it on full heat, put it about medium heat. So yeah, I'll just cut to the chase, I'll just skip to, skip to where it's boiling. So as you see, it is beginning to, to bubble a little bit, but it is getting close to boiling. I'm enjoying this. So it's getting close to where I need to put it in these ramekins. In fact, you know what, fuck it, I'll, I don't need it to boil. They advise to boil it, but I don't feel any sugar particles whatsoever. So, take it off the heat. Let's let it cool off for a minute. Then get these ramekins ready. But I'll first. Set the camera up first. Alright, so there is a jug. There we go. As you see, I'm gonna pour it all in. Okay. I'll put it up here. Doesn't that look so, sorry about that, doesn't that look so pang? So now... So there is a ramekin, like a glass. You just pour it into that. So as you see, it is starting to get to the top. See, it's on my finger. When you can see it, when it's basically at the top, that's when to stop doing it. So I'll put these all in in a few minutes. Once they're cooled down a bit, so it doesn't sort of condense at the top. Like I did in my exam, just sort of trial and error. Just pour that in as well. In the exam, it did overboil. That's one of the few things that went wrong, but not a lot went wrong in the exam, so I'm happy with it. And I'm going to show why I deserve to pass this exam. And yep, yeah, that's three. And we, there's only a little bit left, so I'm not going to bother with the fourth one. So yeah, I'll put the fourth one away. And yep, yeah, that was it for cooking with Michael. And I hope you guys enjoyed that to start the cooking with Michael series. And yeah, see you on my next video. Goodbye.